Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can make a character pick and throw objects in Blender using constraints easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.0, nice. So now let's select everything in this default zone by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let's import our character along with the animation. So go to this file, import, it is an FBX file. So select this FBX and let me select that file and import FBX. So here you can see we got that character. So let me increase the scaling, select the armature, press S and increase the scaling. So if I play this, you can see we got this character along with the animation. And by the way, if you want to know how to download these characters along with the animation from Mixamo, you can click on the I card above or else you can check a link in the description for this tutorial. OK, so if I expand this one, you can see we got these keyframes. So now let me select this last frame and let me change this to 147. So this is the timeline. So here we need to find a frame where you want to make the character hold the object. So at this frame, let me zoom it up here a bit. So at 29th frame, I want the character to hold the object. So first of all, let me add an object here. So here you can use any of the object you like. So here I will be using a USB sphere. So what is add mesh select USB sphere. And first of all, let me bring this cavity and shadow. Okay. So now let me reduce the scaling. Press S and reduce the scaling here. Press three for side view. And let me move this here. Press one for front view. And let me place this here. Let me reduce the scaling. So press S and here. OK, so let me place this properly in the hand of this character and press one. OK, so here you can see it is correctly positioned in the hand. So from this frame, I want the character to hold this object. So now we need to use the constraints for this. So now select the armature, come to this properties, viewport display and let it enable this in front option so that we can see armature let me select the armature once again let me move to this pose mode so here let me select this bone and let me see the name so it is mixam or rig one right hand okay so remember the name so let me move back to this object mode now select this object come to this constraint properties add object constraint and add child of okay so in target we need to select the armature armature of a character so select the armature so in bone we need to select this bone okay so let me search that bone. It is right hand bone. So here you can see we got this bone here. So let me select that one and it moves it position a bit. Just simply click on the set inverse. So now here you can see we got that. So now if I play this, you can see it will be sticking to the character from the starting frame. So here I don't want that to happen. I want the character to hold this object at 29th frame from 29th frame. So be on that frame or else let me move to 28th frame. So beyond that 28th frame, disable this child of property. So simply click on this I symbol to disable that one. Press I on the keyboard. Okay. So now move one frame forward. That is 29th frame. So here I want the character to hold the object. So enable this constraint and add a keyframe by pressing I on the keyboard. So now if I move backward, you can see the character is not holding the object. So after 29th frame, it holds the character with it. Okay. So now if I move forward in timeline, you can see the character or the object will be sticking to the character. So we want the character to leave the object at certain frame. So I want that frame to be 71. So be on that frame and come to this property once again, be on that icon here and press I on the keyboard to add a keyframe. OK, so now move forward one frame. So at this frame, I want the character to leave the object. So disable this one and add a keyframe. So as soon as I disable, it moves to its original position. So move one frame backward. OK, so now select this object, press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location. And now move one frame forward and now roughly place the position here like this in the hand. So press one for front view. Let me place this here and press three for side view. And let me place this here and press I on the keyboard once again and add a keyframe for location. So now if I play this, you can see it picks the object and leaves here. So from this frame, we need to add another property for this ball to move forward. Here you can 
use either keyframe you can manually set this here and add a keyframe for this location so if i add a location here you can say it will be moving here or else we can add some physical properties that is physics properties okay here i will be using rigid body properties for that so let me delete this keyframe here okay so now move to the last frame so at this frame it will be the object will be separated from the character okay so now move two frames forward and let me place this object here like this just move forward in timeline sorry in viewport okay and add a keyframe for this by pressing i and add a location keyframe okay so after adding location keyframes select the object come to this physics property and add rigid body okay so type let it be active and since we have added this location keyframes for this object enable this animated option okay so now if i move here so here it will be staying in its position so come to this last frame here move one frame forward backward at 73rd frame add a keyframe for this animated option move one frame forward disable this animated option and add a keyframe for this animated option okay so now if i play this can speak the character and throws so here the object will be moving forward so now let's create an obstacle for that so again let me go to this add mesh select a cube let me place the cube here press s y and let me increase the scaling reduce the scaling in y axis press s x and increase the scaling in x axis s z and increase the scaling in z axis so press me three and let me place this above to the grid here okay and let me add a plane so go to this add mesh select plane let me increase the scaling of the plane here okay so let me move this here so now select this obstacle or else cube come to this physics property once again add rigid body but type change it to passive and select this plane add rigid body and change it to passive so now if i play this okay so this is looking good so if you want to have some bounciness we can do that select the plane come to this response surface response increase the bounciness select this cube increase the bounciness select the object and also increase the bounciness so now if i play this once again it bounces a lot so let me reduce this to small amount so now if i play this you can see we got our expected result here so in this way we can make characters hold and throw objects in blender using constraints easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye